Hello everybody and welcome to Lolcow Theater. I'm here with uh, Brandon and we have found what is quite possibly one of the most cancerous channels on YouTube. Yeah. To Catch a Cheater. Um, basically, To Catch a Cheater is like To Catch a Predator but way shittier. It does not have the glorious Chris Hansen. It is incredibly low budget, like really, really low budget, like you could make that for bus fare. And it's, uh, it's fake. But then, considering most pranks and social experiments these days are fake, it's really not much of a surprise. So, we're not going to talk too long in this intro, we're just going to jump straight into it. Um, this video is how to test your 13-year-old boyfriend to see if he'll cheat. Oh, lord. Ah, this is going to be wonderful. This is going to be interesting. Alright, yeah, let's just jump right in. Alright guys, so you can see today's a little bit of a different episode. I'm actually here with a group of girls. We have Rebecca who actually reached out to us on Facebook and she told me about her little sisters dating this guy, so they wanted to put him to the test. For those of you who might think this is real, me and Brandon just want to make this abundantly clear. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's 100% fake. These are all paid actors. They have been hired to create a fake scenario just for clickbait. Just for YouTube views. And I, I just love the fact that I'm not even trying to hide that this is fake. No, they're, they're trying to think it's somewhat legit, but it's not. No. The writing in this show is absolutely awful. It's scripted. Like, if you're gonna do, if you're gonna fake this shit, if you're gonna make it scripted, could you at least try to make the writing, uh, sound convincing? You know, that, 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 that's all I ask. But then again, this is to catch a predator shittier little brother, so. Anyways, let's just, let's just watch this. Hi. Oh, hey. What you doing at the park? Uh, I'm, I'm waiting to, to do basketball. I'm waiting to do basketball. What the fuck? Shouldn't that be, I'm waiting to play basketball? Yeah, because it would seem more accurate that way. Also, like, I don't mean to nitpick or anything, but the mother was trying to, like, help him, like, um, set him up. Like, could they at least edit that part out other than just leaving it in there? Because they're obviously fucking lazy or something. Yeah, by the way, her boyfriend's mother, the boyfriend's mother, yeah. uh, she's a paid actor, too. It's, that's fake. This is, the, 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 I, I, I highly doubt any of these people are, are related at all, but... Did you notice the creepy sexual undertone? Yeah, I noticed that too, because it's, it's obviously scripted. It's almost as if they're trying to lure pedophiles to this shit. It oh, almost seems like that. Because what kind of 12-year-old boy says that, like, Oh, I'm waiting to do basketball. <sighs> that, that, that literally sounds like that he's preparing himself to flirt with a girl, you know? No, it, it sounds like... It, no, it sounds like he wants to fuck a basketball. But oh my anyways, gosh. Well, let's just continue. Oh, basketball, yeah. so... You work out? Yeah, I work out. Literally, Zion, what kind of 12 year old works out? Now, a little bit amount of 12 year olds do, but we don't see a whole lot. Like, come on, what kind yeah. of 12 year old works Most out? Most 12 year old boys do not work out, like, at all. Their goal isn't to get super buff so they can attract girls because that's just not the mindset of a 12 year old no. boy. That's the mindset of a teenager, surely, well, yes. Yeah, that was like, more accurate. But, like, when, you're tw when I was 12, I cared about Mario and Pokemon. And at, girls at twelve, they most of them still think boys are immature idiots. They're they're not, they're not saying, "Hey, do you work out? Do you work out?" Like, what kind of twelve year old girl says that though? They're just like, "Do you work out? Do you work out? Oh yeah, you work out." Oh god, oh. the writing is so bad. Like, even the script is shit. Like, literally, it's so bad. Like, they're not even trying to make this sound like a convincing conversation because no twelve year old would say that. Absolutely not. Uh -huh. Oh god, this is this is cancer encased on top of cringe encased on top of cancer. Oh, oh and it only gets worse from here. Oh, a whole lot worse. Yeah, I do cheerleading. Oh, cool. I got this dress yesterday. You like it? Oh yeah, it's awesome. Thanks. I have a shorter one, but my stupid mom wouldn't let me wear it. <laughs> we are just forty seconds into this video, and this video has already gone sexual. Who the fuck in their right mind? would say that. I know. Like, what kind of 12 year old girl says that? And who would think writing something like this, because this shit is scripted, would be a good idea? It's basically saying, yeah, if the 12 year old girl had the shorter dress that her mom would let her wear, that she would, uh, fuck this guy, <laughs> fuck this 12 year old boy. That's basically what they're saying here. I swear to god, this video was only made to lure pedophiles. I really do. Because th those are the only people that I could imagine getting off to this kind of shit and finding any sort of enjoyment in it. Like, 
again, what kind of twelve year old girl would say that? <laughs> like literally nobody. Uh, what? Like she she has a much shorter dress at home, but her stupid mom wouldn't let her wear it. Like, give me a break. Oh god. What, what is this? Is this supposed to be some sort of cheater video, or is this supposed to be softcore porn for horny thirteen year old boys? I because. Oh my oh, god. Oh, you want to fucking know. The, the, the cringe is too strong. The cringe is too strong. Anyways, let's just keep going. <laughs> um, how old are you? I'm 13. Oh, I'm 12. You like younger girls? Yeah, yeah, I could go for a 12 year old. <laughs> now, I just observed something, Son, just right off the bat. Now, she says that she's 12, but just looking at her her uh, facial like um look, she doesn't look like she's 12. She looks like she's possibly 14 or 15. Yeah, she does case. not look like she's 12. She looks a little bit older than that. Now, look, some 12-year-olds look a lot older than they actually are, but, like, it's staggering because she does not look like she's 12. She looks no. like she's 14 or 15, a little bit older. This dialogue is just creepy as fuck, dude. I mean, it would be creepy no matter who says it. Like, if an adult said this exact same thing, it would be creepy. If... Uh, if, if someone a lot younger, like, you know, six and under said this, this would be creepy. Oh my god. And, and a preteen saying it, or teenagers preteen, whatever, it's creepy. No matter who says it, it's creepy. That's how atrocious this dialogue is. Ow, oh, do you like younger girls? Fuck my head. We're already creeped out the more and more we watch this video. Oh god, like, oh god, this is just, it, it is gone sexual. This is just, I'm, I'm just creeped out by the sexual undertones in this video. Oh god, this is uh, fuck. This is I, what? What more? What more can we say about it at this point? I feel like I'm gonna go insane. All right, let's just. Everyone's gonna go insane. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice. So you probably have like a bunch of girlfriends, right? No, I, I don't have a girlfriend. Oh really? No, no, I'm single. <laughs> you know, I could be your girlfriend. You could be my girlfriend. Mhm. Mm oh, cool. Can I have your number? Yeah, sure. The totally fake boyfriend for this fake scenario is totally cheated on me. Oh my god, it's a horrible thing. Let me just cover my mouth. <laughs> that has to be the most unconvincing mouth covering I have ever seen. The direction is horrible because the producers likely told her to do that, but it's I'm not convinced. It's just like... I mean, who the hell is invested in this other than pedophiles? I mean, the actors are getting paid no matter what, but like, who the fuck finds this enjoyable? Seriously. Nobody. Do you want to know how many subscribers this channel has? Over 800,000. Over 800,000. Humanity is done for. Humanity's fucked, to be honest with the you. The irony is strong. Oh, it is just... I, I can't even say anything funny about it, because this whole situation is just so fucked. Because it involves children getting sexual. Again, this video was on only made for, like, pedophiles. Like, what the fuck are we doing wrong? I mean, all we need to do to become be, to become popular on YouTube is hire some actors, create some fake scenarios, and we'll be well on our way to YouTube stardom. Like, well, and once we get paid, what can we do? Possibly spend it on a $1 million Mercedes. Or a spaceship, or, you know, a large swimming pool. Or you know what would be better? You know what would be better than this fucking video? Is if we take that money, Buy some cyanide, drink it, so we both drop dead. That would be an infinitely more enjoyable experience than this goddamn video. Thanks. D do you like romantic films? Uh, do you like romantic films? Yeah. Yeah, I love romantic films. Oh, yeah. great. So, you know, romantic films? Really? Like, what guy watches romantic films? Like, give me a break. Like, what kind of 12-year-old boy would watch romantic films? Or 13-year-old boy? Who would... The more this video goes along, the more cringy it becomes. Like... And when... By the way, when Brandon says what kind of man would watch a romantic film, he's talking about the 13-year-old boy. Because, really, wh why would a 13-year-old boy want to watch a romantic film? And he says, oh, do you like romantic films? She's like, yeah, I like romantic films. Oh, I love romantic films. Oh, my God. Ah. Like, they don't, they don't even try to make this conversation sound convincing, like, what a normal 12-year-old, 13-year-old, whatever would say. Like, this is just, as a writer myself, I am offended at how awful the writing is in this video. It is so terrible. And the fact of the matter is, they're trying to make this real, like this is real, but it's totally fake. Like, and it's just...
Oh my god. F Pimp My Ride was more convincing than this. And that was fake too. Oh god, just... Every I prank is fake. 100% fake. This video makes me want to kill myself. Just, just straight up, it makes me want to kill myself. That's, th that, that's how... Great ones, The Notebook. We should see it one Oh time. my gosh, that's my favorite movie. Oh my god, mine too! Let's watch it. Yeah. Can I give you a hug? Yeah, sure. That was a cringe hug. The no. cringe hug. Yep. And what a cringe hug is, is basically when you want to give someone a hug, but you don't want to commit to it. So you kind of just... You, you, like, you do this, but you're not really committing to it, so you just look like an idiot. It's like, oh, I don't know what to do here. I'm just gonna do this, and I uh, hope it works out, and I'm just gonna call it a hug, right? This is a hug, right? Like, the acting is so bad in this in this video. Like, I get that these are kids, and these are paid actors, and whatever you need to do to get money, hey, whatever, you know. Talk about well, shit. Actually. I mean, we're just two losers from Canada, so what the fuck do we know, right? But, like, they don't even try to make the acting sound convincing or even good. Like, I've seen better acting in The Room. I've seen better acting in the Fears Behind the Scenes video. That was better acted than this shit. I just went there. Because, oh. god damn it. Like, and, you know, oh, The Notebook. I've, I've seen The Notebook. No, I haven't seen The Notebook. But hey, oh yeah, let's watch The Notebook because I just want to, I want to get in your pants because that's, that's how all 13 year old boys think, right? Even though they're not developed, but... Yeah, this, this, this totally fakes it and fuck, fuck this. Fuck, fuck it. I just, it's, it's fake. It's, like, it's like the icing on the cake. Yeah, this is... I mean, if, if, if you weren't convinced before that this was fake as fuck, that just confirmed it. Just kill me now. Just kill me now. See ya. Are you okay? Thanks yeah, mom. I'm so happy. Hey, guys, are Hi, I'm sorry. You know, Do you consider that cheating no, then, I guess? I'm okay, it's a, I it's cheating! Yeah. Okay, okay, at that point it is, dress? I guess. Like, I don't want to dress! Okay. I want to go home! Yeah, we'll get stuff, we'll get I said, ah! Now, normally we would end the video there, but there's something so much worse than this. There's a follow-up. Boy, this should get interesting. Let's just watch it, okay? Alright guys, so we're back with my friend Sarah, and we're doing a little follow-up just to see what's happened since, um, well, you guys know. So let us know what happened. Um, did you break up with Jaden, or are you guys still together? Yeah. This is your new boyfriend. Real cool. Alright, so what's been the biggest difference between dating Jaden and now dating Marquise? He knows how to treat me. He introduced me to all his friends already, so I feel like I'm in a serious relationship now. Uh, he has shared his lunch with me, and he bought some for me even. Oh, nice. Now, if you didn't catch that, she said he shared his lunch with her. And now they're in a relationship. She fell in love with them just like that because apparently that's how relationships work in this day and age. You share lunch with somebody and you're instantly in love. It's direct, it's a direct kiss, right? Like, I mean, me and you ba met back in 2013 and we had lunch together, but that didn't mean we instantly became friends. We had to get to know each other first. Hmm. But I I've stopped trying to make sense of this video a long time ago, honestly, because again, like we said at the beginning, it's fake. None of this is real. If you actually believe this, then we don't know what to tell you. I just... Oh, God, let's just keep going. How did you confront him? Well, I saw him in the lunchroom at school, and he tried to talk to me, you know, he was like, how are you, baby? And I was like, I didn't even say anything, you know? He doesn't deserve me to say anything. I'm glad I didn't waste any of my time on him. Right on. So you would never, um, so you're done with cheaters, basically? Yes. Cool. And Marquise, I mean, would you ever cheat on your girlfriend? No. I know a good thing when I see it. <laughs> what the fuck did it just said, Zion? I'm like, oh, what? She says, I know a good thing when I see it. He sounds That's like- fucking creepy. He sounds like a girl, dude. It is just so full on. It's so off-putting. It's weird. It's really, really really weird 
Uh, and uh, again, it's fake. None of this is real, but still, it's just that that really that really caught me off guard the first time I saw that. Like, the fuck? Or should I say it's uh, 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 awkward? It is really awkward. Like, who the fuck talks like that? <laughs> Seriously, who the, who? Talk, it's like if that wasn't clearly a boy, and you just blindfolded me and you played that to me. I probably would think that's a girl. Just straight up. <sighs> or should I say that's a boy transitioning into a girl? I don't know. I don't know. It's a boy that sounds like a girl. It's it's a weird conundrum. Anyways, let's just finish this up. Nice. Uh, what advice can you give to all the girls out there who, uh, you know, want to test their boyfriend? Never stay with the cheater, because you're always going to find something better. Line, two shitty videos and the price of one. Give me a break. Also, I forgot to point out some things. Uh, no offense, but this guy looks like a younger version of you. I'm sorry. He does? <laughs> yeah, that's what he looks like. He literally looks like a younger version of you. I mean, yeah, I I guess maybe. Like, if I if I had a weird sounding voice that made me sound like a girl, sure, and then maybe it, it is me, but uh, oh my god. Like, it says what? that he's 13, but he doesn't look like he's 13. He looks like he's no, 7 or 8. Dude. No, dude. Yes. It, apparently, yes. He claims that he's 13 or whatever. But no, he does not look like he's 13. He looks like he's 8. He looks like he's 8 or 9. Around there. Around that uh, point. But then again, you can't really expect something like this to be accurate with anything. But uh, mm. what, what more can we say, honestly, that we haven't already said? To catch a cheater is the internet equivalent of cancer. It is cringy. It's awkward. It's creepy, it's predatory, it's any kind of negative connotation you can think of when watching something like this. And this is the reason why pranks and social experiments have gotten such a bad reputation, because they try to play it off as being real, but let's be honest, this shit is fake. And by the way, they do, Catch a Cheater actually has a Patreon, no joke. But it only has three patrons, and they only, like, only get like $5 a month. The fact that there are people out there that are willing to pay to see this kind of shit is mind-boggling. Like, who would pay for it? I mean, it's not like cheating videos require that much of a- It doesn't require any budget, actually. All you need to do is get a camera, hire some fake actors, or get your friends who are willing to stoop low enough to do this shit. Create a fake scenario? Boom! You got a cheating video. And then you can manipulate the YouTube algorithms and put whatever kind of bullshit nonsense you can to get views. That's all you need to do. I, I don't know, what, what do you have to say? I really have nothing to say about this. Like... I, I mean, what, what can we say? Like, it's just... I mean, To Catch a Cheater just sucks. It sucks, and the fact that people actually watch this, I... I don't get it. I, I just, I don't get it, man. I don't get it, and... I normally don't use this word very often, and I've used it quite a bit. But I'm sorry, that's the only word that I can really truly emphasize with this video. This is one of the cringiest videos I have ever seen. That is not clickbait. That is not me pulling a leafy or anything. This is truly cringy. And that's it. Well, that's all you gotta say. This is That Kid Douglas, aka The Unhero. And this is Brandon Nathaniel, aka Big B217. Signing out. Deuces. Stay frosty and keep it weird. Cue an outro sequence now.